I did want to bring up this uh, very interesting topic before we get into our college football week nine preview. Stan Kroenke pissed off NFL owners by bailing on legal fees due to relocation of the Rams from St. Louis to uh, Los Angeles. Did you see the article about this? No, but I know the city of St. Louis is suing them. Yes, so that's that's been going on for quite some time, and part of the relocation agreement with the owners agreeing, you know, everybody has to vote on it, and it has to be unanimous uh, for him to actually be able to relocate a team, is all of the other owners have to agree, and... Part of the reason why they all agreed, they all voted for him to go, was because he told them, he, he made a promise to cover tens of millions of dollars in legal expenses related to the team's 2016 departure. And now it appears that he is trying to back away from that. The legal update from NFL General Counsel Jeff Pash during the owner's first in-person meeting since December 2019 stunned many in the room, according to accounts from people who were there and others briefed on the proceedings. Uh, it said the league, through a spokesperson, declined comment. It said the Rams and other owners are embroiled in a fierce four-year lawsuit from the St. Louis Regional Convention and Sports Complex Authority, which argues the league broke its own relocation guidelines, misled the public on its plans to leave the city, and cost the city millions in revenue. It said the league has lost many its uh, many of its motions, and was denied a hearing in the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, but basically, uh, Cranky got his got his lawyer to come in and tell him that, you know, and he he basically is not going to pay for the rest of this. Like he's already paid quite a bit in these legal fees, and he's kind of done. Like, <laughs> and this was after like Jerry Jones and several of these other guys. Uh, I think uh, Mark Davis stood up and actually you know, spoke kindly and said, yeah, he's done a, a good job with this and, you know, he's done what he's supposed to. But he left the room and his attorney is the one that actually told all the other owners that he, like, he's done. He's not going to back the rest of these legal bills. Like, <laughs> is this not surprising to you? Yeah, I mean, it's a little shocking, but, you know, rich guys doing rich guy things, you know. It's, it's amazing that these guys can all sit in a room and have a conversation without attorneys in there and actually get anything done just because everybody's so quick to litigate everything. So yeah. that's what these guys do. It's it's crazy. Kraft, like Robert Kraft from the Patriots, spoke to the room afterwards. He said Cranky's uh, position was unfair. He mentioned all the legal hassle he had gone through. He said in 2016, he served on a six-person L.A. committee. He argued that if providing financial records as a result of lawsuits would be a consequence of serving on league committees, it would dissuade other owners from wanting to be on committees and making consequential decisions for the league. Uh, Raiders owner Mark Davis reminded the room that in 2016, the L.A. committee recommended a rival Raiders Chargers stadium project in Carson, California, by a five to one vote over Cranky's project in Inglewood. Like it, it's, it is really crazy. Mara spoke next, said that Cranky's uh, change of position was ridiculous and that if he had not agreed to indemnify the league, the owners would have never voted for him to move. He said anyone who was in the room in Houston when the vote was taken would know that. So this is normally we don't get too many of these issues between these billionaire owners, but this one is very interesting. I am curious what is going to end up happening because I would almost guarantee that you were going to start seeing NFL owners suing each other if Cranky backs away from his his moral obligation. I guess I don't know if it's necessarily a legal one to pay for I don't, these. I, don't, I, I find it I find it interesting that like can't the other thirty one owners just vote? Now I don't know what the bylaws. Are. I don't know what they're able. Can't the other thirty one owners just vote that they're going to garnish his wages? Like. All all the money in the NFL goes into one pot and it gets split up thirty two ways. Okay? That's it. That's that's how their revenue is shared. All right? Worst team in the league, best team in the league, they all make the same. Okay? My my question is is why why don't they just garnish whatever he owes when it comes time to divvy him out? we're just gonna hold this back and then you can have this. Well they just do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh that's, a, that's pretty crazy. So there was a brief back and forth here. Jerry Jones asked Pash whether Cranky had uh, tried to settle the lawsuit. Pash replied that he had, and Jones indicated that Cranky's settlement figure was billions of dollars. Like, this is not $10 million or whatever. Yeah, so, so there, there, lies the, there lies the issue. The city of St. Louis, when they're suing him, 
they're not suing him for a little bit of money. Okay, that's the problem. They they want I forgot the, the legal phrasing of it, but it's basically like estimated lost wages or whatever. Like we you leaving cost our city this much money for this many years, which means and you so owe we us. Want, we want that much, and it's in the billion. So it's pretty and they're not settling. They're willing to go to court. Because they want when you when you actually don't settle and you go to court, then you get to depose people. And when, and most of these guys never want to be deposed because being deposed means you go under oath and everything about your life and your finances becomes public knowledge. And most of these guys will write any check they can to keep from being deposed. Yes. Uh, Pash said that he refused to confirm the figure. He told, or, or a source with direct knowledge of the situation, told ESPN it was less. It was less than a billion, but he told those in the meeting that it was more than the net worth of some of those owners that were in the room. So then others that started. Is, is, it, it's crazy. It, it sources uh, described yeah. several owners that spoke up. Jim Ursay uh, wanted Cranky back in the room to answer questions, and Jones argued that Cranky shouldn't do that without an attorney. Art Rooney said lawyers should handle all these issues. Mara reiter- uh, reiterated that nobody in the room would have voted for Cranky to move if not for the indemn- indemnification. Excuse me. This is like this is crazy. Jerry Jones indicated that Cranky might sue the league over the indemnification agreement. And Jones mentioned in 1995 the league sued him over sponsorship deals, and he countersued the league. So yep, this is won. this is going to be bananas, man. Like it, people are not really paying attention to this. But this looks like something that you and I could get into the weeds about for a real, real long time. We won't. I mean, yeah, but nobody, nobody's paying attention about it because it's not going to change anything at the end of the day. Like, at the, at the end of the day, all these guys are going to get along. They're going to let attorneys fight all this out. Somebody's going to get mad at somebody. But at the end of the day, they understand business. And, and, and it doesn't matter. It's not going to change anything in the league. It's not going to affect anything in the league. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. One rich right. guy's going to either get richer or poorer, and the other rich guys are going to either get richer or poorer. There you go. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.